Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the new task in 920, which is a scan document task. And this task can scan any number of files and uh, in PDF, Word, or image format. And the real world scenario would be that you might have invoices coming through files or through email that you want Visucron to process and extract the data from these invoices. So with this task, we start by selecting a file. In this case, I'm loading a PDF file. We can see that this PDF has multiple pages. And the way we're working with this one is that we select an area that we want to scan into a variable. So we can just hold down the right mouse button and select an area. So what happens then is that it will immediately start scanning. It will also detect the type of uh, area that we want to scan. So we're able to scan this as text into a table or as an image or scan a barcode. And we can add na any number of these uh, scan areas. Once we have uh, selected an area, we are also able to move it around and drop it somewhere. We can sh change the way the data is interpreted by selecting uh, the table type. So I'm selecting a table here and we select as table. We can see now how Visual by default scans this area and how it detects different parts of the table. And it's possible to control in detail how uh, the columns are interpreted here because there might be different um, spaces between and uh, in different documents where you can control in detail how Visicron handles this. You also have some other settings here as well to maybe adapt the scanning for this or a specific area here. So we can look at this at the table level. So let's minimize this one. And we can see how the data is interpreted here. And we can look at this look at this at the text level. We then also have the ability to save the output uh, in different ways. So by default, um, an area like this, so you can see that it's auto named here. We can rename it. Uh, so this is variable zero, and this is variable one. And by default, these are stored as task variables, so they are available in the result of the task. But you can also store this as a job variable and save directly to file. So when saving directly to file, it might be interesting if you want to save an image as well. But when scanning an image, so we select an image here, maybe a logo type or something, and we select it as image. The output here, the text output for this variable is a base64 version of this PNG image. Um, but you can also save it directly to file here as well. So this uh, task, as you can see, is very versatile, how you can use it, select different areas and extract certain parts. It's easy to move around. As you see, you can easily delete an object here move between the ones to see the different uh, values here. There's a file filter built in as well because now we are on the scan properties tab where we are working with a sample image, an image that we uh, expect is uh, coming in some way. But you can use then the actual file filter to filter out the file that you want to work with uh, among any other files. So this is a new scan document task. We have further information in the um, in the documentation, of course, for all these detailed settings. As you can set a lot of uh, settings on each rectangle that you select here, because some parts might be harder to detect, and some parts uh, are of different types, as you can see here, that you can easily change. So thank you for listening to this. Bye for now.